Welcome, Mech Warrior. You're accessing beginner level training manuals for the Panther PNT 9R provided by Ronan Fox Armored Security. I'll be your instructor, Fox. This tactical debriefing will cover the specifications, strengths, and weaknesses of the Panther PNT 9R, as well as how to customize and operate your own in the field. Because this is at the beginner level, some restrictions will apply, including no loss tech, no upgrades, no mods. DLC will be allowed. Let us begin. Alshane Weapons Panther PNT 9R. Weight class Light. Roll Brawler. Availability Very common. Threat level Reduced. Description. Originally a Star League mech built to provide fire support to scouts, the 9R is an upgrade to the original 8Z. Its large laser was deemed too weak and the mech was re-engineered into the 9R we see today armed with the PPC. After the Star League's fall, all Shane weapons came completely under the control of the Draconis combined, giving them exclusive production rights for the Panther quickly making it an iconic symbol of the Combine. Despite some initial reluctance, DCMS pilots would eventually embrace the Panther and it would eventually earn the nickname the Alley Cat from the Lyran Commonwealth due to its effectiveness in urban combat. Today, MechWire searching for a Panther should have no difficulty finding them amongst the territories of the Draconis Combine. Specifications. Maximum weight, 35 tons. Minimum weight, 8.5 tons. This means 26.5 tons are available for customization. Top speeds, 64 kilometers forward, 43 kilometers reverse, standard engine. This could be seen as very slow speeds by light mech standards. Armor, stock armor is 208 units. This is 6.5 tons of standard armor. Maximum possible armor, is 250 units. This is 7.81 tons. This mech could be seen as well armored by light mech standards. Weaponry. One PPC, right arm. One SRM-4, center torso. One ton of SRM ammo, which is 320 missiles or 80 volleys, left torso. Two light hand actuators, melee capable fists, rated at 10 damage, left and right arm. Four class five jump jets, two in each leg, eight additional heat sinks. Strengths and weaknesses. The Panther is an unusual brawler mech in the light class, giving it interesting pros and cons. Strengths include powerful weapons that are unexpected in its weight class, allowing it to outrange the vast majority of foes it is expected to face. Its weapons are also very flexible and able to engage at all ranges, and none of the weapons will jam up close, which will be common due to the speed of expected foes. It also has excellent potential melee capability with its full hand actuators. However, the mech does have numerous weaknesses. First, the PPC is a weapon that requires a lot of gunnery skill when shooting at small, fast-moving targets, which are the vast majority of enemies the Panther will be expected to face. The PPC is a particularly punishing weapon to miss with due to its slow rate of fire and high heat generation. More obviously, though, is the weakness of very slow movement speeds. It will not be able to keep pace with other light mechs, forcing them to slow down, and it will also suffer a lot of damage compared to other light mechs, as light mechs prefer to evade damage rather than withstand it. Even with full armor, the mech will be destroyed rapidly if the enemy focus fires upon the panther. The Panther is also very vulnerable to medium mech skirmishers who can both outmaneuver and outmuscle the Panther. Its reliance on very few numbers of weapons means that the mech is crippled if the PPC is destroyed, and overall, the Panther can be a challenging mech to perform well with. Recustomization Ronan Fox recommends the following build to the beginner level mech warrior. It will reduce reliance on high gunnery requirement and emphasize close combat strength as most enemy engagements will be up close in the light class. Start with a stripped down mech and add one large laser short burst. This is a DLC weapon. 
add one SRM-6, and add one ton of SRM ammo. This is 320 missiles or 53.3 volleys. Add two light arena fists. Max the armor and add six heat sinks, which will take the mech over its maximum tonnage. Bring it into compliance by tuning the armor. Set rear armor to 10 in all sections and move the rest of the armor forwards. Set the head to 24 armor and both legs to 30 armor each. Arena fists have very rapid attack speeds and the large laser short burst beam duration is shorter than normal, allowing the pilot to quickly fire the laser and then continue assaulting enemies with the fists. The high accuracy of the large laser also reduces the necessity of a new pilot needing to be familiar with the higher difficulty PPC. Battle ROM debriefing. Now that the Panther has been recustomized, it's time to see how it will operate in the field. These are the conditions. Mission, battlefield. Difficulty, 20. Drop weight, 160 tons. Allies include Panther PNT-9R, two Jenner JR-7Ds. All allied mechs are unmodified and in stock configuration. Pilot skill, green. If you own your own Battle Pod Combat Simulator, check document one in the video's description for an instant action code to recreate this exact battle and train under the same conditions. Welcome to Quentin 4, Mech Warrior. In 3023, the Draconis combined would hire the Wolf's Dragoons to invade the Federated Suns. You'll be seeing the perspective of Ashi Lance, one of Ronan Fox's light lances tasked with engaging targets of opportunity skirmishing around the flank of the Wolf Dragoon's Delta Regiment. The Dragoon's strategy involved using the Delta Regiment to lure away AFFS forces in order to strike their true target, an under-defended Independence Weaponry Factory. Ashi Lance begins by engaging an AFFS probe, including a Locust and a Spider. The Panther and Jenner duo, iconic to the Draconis combine, allows Ashi to simultaneously outmuscle, outrange, and chase down enemy scouts. After bringing the Locust down, Ashi One orders the Lance to focus on the Spider while he deals with the newly arriving Warrior model helicopters himself. The large laser short burst excels in neutralizing large numbers of lightly armored foes such as these helicopters due to its fast recharge speeds. Ashi then detects a Demi Lance attempting to flank Delta Regiment, including a Jenner and an unexpected Enforcer. Ashi 1 splits the Lance with Ashi 2, 3, and 4 targeting the Jenner while Ashi 1 decides to deal with the Enforcer personally. Using the trees to block the Enforcer, Ashi-1 manages to flank the medium mech in close combat. Utilizing the twin arena fists, Ashi-1's Panther pounds the Enforcer. The rapid striking capabilities are clearly seen here, with each fist striking harder than that of an AC-10. The Enforcer falls, having done little damage to Ashi Lance, and Ashi-1 is pleased to see that the rest of his Lance had already defeated the Jenner. Another team of mechs attempt to sneak through, yet another Jenner and an Assassin this time. The lone Jenner was not meant to face an entire Lance of mechs and is quickly brought down. Ashi Lance then converges on the Assassin, however its high speeds make it difficult to land clean attacks. The Panther's flexible weapons ensure that at least some of its weapons are always in striking distance, however. After a bad turn, the Assassin finds itself in reach of Ashi One's Arena Fist, which tears its arm off, and the Assassin is finally brought down. After the skirmish, Ashi is safely returned home with minimal maintenance required on the Lance. Ashi One's aggressive takedown of the Enforcer likely saving costly repairs. This concludes the tactical debriefing for the Panther PNT-9R. You now understand its specifications, strengths and weaknesses, as well as how to customize your own Panther and how to operate it in the field. 
Thank you for choosing Ronan Fox Armored Security for all of your training needs. And thank you, thank you everyone for watching this week's guide. As is traditional, my out of character final rating of the Panther. Generally speaking, I don't use this mech unless I'm playing cooperatively because this mech needs someone to watch its back. If you get ambushed, you can't outrun or outmaneuver your attacker. And if your attacker is like a Wolverine or a Shadowhawk, oof, you are in trouble. It's also really hard to hit fast targets, small targets with the PPC, but hey, it's good practice as well. Anyways, medium mech next episode. Haven't picked what it's going to be, though. If you enjoyed the video, show the Fox some love. Don't forget to tune into my MechWarrior 5 streams. We just finished the Kestrel Lancers DLC, and we're going to be 100% clearing everything all the way through the Dragon's Gambit. You can catch any of the previous stream episodes, too, in my live section on the channel. Kestrel Lancers is episode 6. Also, give my guide a like, share it with a friend who's learning MechWarrior 5, and leave me a comment on what you think. Do you have an alternate Panther build? Let me know. I read all the comments, and hearing what you guys think about these kinds of videos helps keep me motivated. Till next time, though, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.